Tuesday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski. Here's we start things off. I'm going to start off with the winter weather advisory that we have posted in east central Nebraska. It does include Lancaster County here in the local four viewing area. I do have some viewers up in Saunders County as well, even though technically it's not in the local four viewing area. But I wanted to mention this. And this is basically if you were watching yesterday, and you can see it on our satellite and radar loop, we had a, uh, a plume of snow that developed due to steam exhaust in the atmosphere from a steel plant and an ethanol plant just northeast of Norfolk. You can see where it's originating from. And yesterday the winds were out of the north and so it was blowing almost straight south down towards a uh, David City, Seward Crete areas here. David City picked up two inches of snow because of it. it was actually a moderate to heavy snow with big, huge flakes of snow. We also had reports of some freezing drizzle due to it in places like Lincoln and Omaha, so slick conditions, and that's why there is that winter weather advisory out until 10 o'clock this morning. Could be some slick spots out there, and some of that snow does continue to fall. You can see it was still continuing to fall around the Omaha area, and the visibility was reduced because of that. So more of a man-made type snow, something you don't see very often. We've had it here in the Hastings area before several years ago. We had a coating of snow in town because of some of the exhaust from the plants off to the in the south and southeast part of town. Well, as we move on to your future cast here, it is going to be another fairly cloudy day. Now, those that aren't seeing that snow, the man-made snow, we're still seeing flurries out there this morning, just not going to see the accumulating snowfall out there for today. Probably not much sun in central and eastern Nebraska. If we see sun, your best bet's out west. We're going to start to see some clearing during the day today. So it's going to remain on the cold side, a west-northwest wind of 5 to 15 miles per hour. Quickly clearing up the skies this evening. So skies will be mostly clear through the overnight hours and a little colder out there. We're starting off in the low to mid-teens this morning. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be down into the mid and upper teens for most of us. So 20s this morning, teens tomorrow morning. But tomorrow's temperatures look like some of the best we'll see all week long. A lot of sunshine. We're into the 30s and even some lower 40s along the Nebraska-Kansas border. And then late in the day, we'll start to see some clouds come in all ahead of a cold front that comes through Wednesday night, late night. That front's going to bring in a breezy wind and unfortunately an end to the nicer weather, if you want to call Wednesday nicer. Thursday, Friday, look straight up chilly again. And that chilly air is going to stick around right through the upcoming weekend. We'll show you that in the seven-day forecast in just a bit. How about today, though? Well, speaking of chilly, that's what we have in store for today. Upper 20s to near 30 for highs up north. Mainly cloudy skies, still some morning flurries out there. Out west, I think we're pretty much done with the flurries. Maybe Lexington and Beaver City still a few flurries. Otherwise, highs in the low to mid-30s. And we'll actually get a little bit of sunshine later on today, decreasing clouds out west. Mainly cloudy in the south, some morning flurries as well, upper 20s and lower 30s for highs. Not exactly what I call warm. Our average high is 39 to 40 degrees, and we're still about 10 degrees below that today. And upper 20s to near 30 degrees out towards the east with some areas of flurries. And again, watch for those slick conditions in places like Lincoln, Crete, Seward, Wahoo, those locations. A little slick due to some of that light freezing drizzle they had earlier this morning and last night. So some flurries this morning. That's about the only snow we have in the forecast in the coming days ahead. Now tomorrow, that's one of the better days we see this week. Wednesday, we'll see lots of sun until the end of the day, 36 for a high. That cold front coming through Wednesday night, and that's a later night cold front. It will bring a breezy north and northwest wind at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. No precipitation, but maybe some extra clouds coming with that front. And then partly to mostly sunny skies through the rest of the weekend, right through the weekend, but it is going to be much colder. Low or highs only in the low to mid-20s, upper 20s towards Sunday. But look at those lows down into the lower teens and some single digits out there, so a little bit colder for the end of the week for those overnight temperatures. By Monday, we're going to keep the sunshine around and maybe finally start to warm things up a little bit out there. And it looks like uh, long-range forecast models trending towards keeping us drier through at least the middle of next week and keeping the temperatures a little bit more comfortable. Not quite so cold. I think we'll see a lot more 30s down the road and maybe even some 40s. Some long-range forecast models are hinting at maybe some 40s a ways down the road here, but that, again, is still a ways down the road, and that can, of course, change. That's still so far down that you can't put too much uh, trust in those four long-range forecast models. So stays chilly for the most part. Not a lot of snow-melting weather. Your best bet is Wednesday, and then as we get into next week, maybe some more snow-melting weather. But again, at the same time, no precipitation to speak of. No snow in the forecast. The first dry weekend we've had since November 11th, 10th and 11th when we had a dry weekend that weekend, even though it was quite cold. That was the weekend, if you remember the Nebraska-Illinois game, how cold it was that weekend as well. So anyway, there's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you all do enjoy your Tuesday, and I'll see you bright and early on Wednesday morning. Take care. God bless.